Hello, so good to see you. Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, my name is Rachel Hoffman. I am the creator of Virtual Doll Convention, and I also own and operate Turn of the Century Antiques, which is out here in Denver, Colorado. We have an amazing team, and every single week, we work to bring you entertainment and breaking news in dolls. Dolls, dolls are what we love around here, and so if you're a doll lover of any kind, we love all kinds of dolls, you're in the right place. Right now we are here in, in the doll shop and, and we have a special unboxing for you. I am so excited because don't you just love a great doll unboxing and you're gonna love these dolls. You've probably seen these dolls on my channel. We have visited and had so many incredible experiences with the artist of these dolls. He is and he's an amazing person. He's an incredible artist. He's a sculptor. He does so many different things. And his personal collection of dolls is wild and wonderful and one of the coolest things I have ever seen. Do you remember when we went and visited Greg Ortiz in January 2019 and we saw his Patty Play Pal collection? We saw his incredible doll studio out in Orlando, Florida. Greg Ortiz is such an icon and I love his work so much. And he gifted me one of his incredible Betty Boops, which is one of my favorite dolls ever. She sits right at my desk, giving me strength, encouragement, and love. Who doesn't love Betty Boop? If you love Betty Boop, give me a comment, give me a holler, give me an emoji, give me some hearts, some, some likes out there. Betty Boop is an icon. Greg Ortiz is an icon. And when Greg Ortiz made Betty Boop, a special limited edition of only 50 dolls worldwide, I will never forget where I was when I saw that. I will never forget what it was like visiting with Greg. The videos of our visit with Greg are all on my YouTube channel and you can see Greg where he shows us the prototypes of Betty Boop. He shows us the creative process behind creating Betty Boop and what it took to get him there with that doll. He worked so hard creating Betty Boop and to get the license just to even do it shows you just what an amazing artist Greg is. He has been creating dolls for decades. He, has, he does so many different things. Becca just said, Betty Boop was one of the things that inspired Blythe. Oh, I love that. Who doesn't love, and who, who doesn't love Blythe, Betty Boop? I mean, they're just all icons and I just love the look. A couple days ago on my Facebook page, not yesterday, I shared a photo of a Betty Boop that was created by a doll lover out in Ireland. And she said that she had watched Greg and I's content and it inspired her so much to make a Betty Boop of her own. And I loved the Betty Boop so much that I posted it on my page. And I was actually on the phone with Greg last night and we were looking at the photos and discussing it. And he just, he loved seeing it. He is an outstanding person and artist. But one of the things I love about Greg so much is that he wants everybody to experience and enjoy dolls and he is so giving with his time talents and information there was nothing that i asked him that he said was a secret uh, he invited us in to see everything his studio i mean he was just amazing i am really excited to announce that greg is going to be presenting at the upcoming virtual doll convention so we will have a studio update with our incredible greg ortiz because it's been a year since we have visited him and in the last year he has made some uh, some awesome changes to his studio he's always changing always evolving as any artist or person is and he has also added some wonderful dolls to his doll collection so he is ready to perform for you he is a performer we know that greg is so amazing so greg is coming back we love him okay so here's here's the thing which is why i'm here right now i have i have some dolls here in my doll shop from greg and they're gonna look they're gonna look so good in the cases but i want i'm gonna unbox them so you can get the experience of unboxing these dolls with me because it's just so fun to have an unboxing and to just see what it's like so this this is all oh, this is in one of the boxes it says to rachel thank you for your wonderful friendship love greg 
Look at this. This is an incredible doll. Cover doll by Greg Ortiz. International doll artist. Visionary doll artist from around the world. Go Greg. Oh, here he is. Look at with Mickey Mouse. I love his Mickey Mouse. He does so much with just licensing and other and and with other companies and you know big names like Disney. <laughs> he creates one of a kinds and amazing things for the the people over there at Disney in Orlando and oh my gosh, Greg is just so cool. He's very busy. He's working on a lot of commissions and a lot of doll projects, but we're so lucky that he is going to uh, create an amazing video for us for the virtual convention. So go Greg, go. So let's look at this. Let's look at this. Now these are big. I'm going to kind of hold them up and you're going to see them. I'm going to put this down. I want you to just see these boxes and, and see. And if you decide you want one of these dolls, of course, we do have a very limited amount on the virtual doll convention website under Greg Ortiz, but check it out. Look at this. Okay, so here, here's this big box. Greg Ortiz, Timeless Heart. That is his company right there. And these are big boxes and they are heavy. Look who is right there. Now it's gonna be backwards, of course, but this is olive oil. Look at her face. Do you like olive oil? Do you like Popeye? Do you like spinach? I mean, who 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 doesn't love olive oil? She was she was so fun. So we have olive oil. Oh my gosh, they are really heavy. And are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Boop boop be do. Get it, girl. Betty Boop. Such an icon. Such an icon. Betty Boop. We all love Betty Boop. Look at the boxing. So cute. So cute. Okay. I mean, I just love how it has half of her face right there, just kind of peeking in. So we're going to do this. So that's just the shipping sleeve. Just the sleeve is has all of that wonderful branding on it. Now, as somebody that does the branding and the tissue paper and the just making it really fun and exciting, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot to do and it's very expensive. And he has spared no expense to make these dolls absolutely incredible. Now let's look at the box. So I just pulled it out of that shipper container. So look at how good that shipper container was. And then here's the actual box of the doll. It is bright red and every single part of it is colored. Look at this. This is so good. So good. Yes, Greg. Yes, Betty. Who doesn't love Betty? Can you hear her now? Saying boop, boop, be doo We love Betty Boop. Okay, so let's check out this doll. These Betty Boop dolls were limited to only 50 worldwide. 50. Very, very, very limited. The ultimate Betty Boop ball jointed doll. The ultimate. Are we ready to see the ultimate Betty Boop? I'm ready to see the ultimate Betty Boop. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so we're taking that off. Let's, oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at the tissue paper. Look how gorgeous that is. This is, this is not even tissue paper. This is like thick. This, this is like wallpaper. Wallpaper. You can wallpaper with this. So beautiful. Okay, we're unwrapping it. It's sad. There's the certificate of authenticity, Betty Boop, the ultimate Betty Boop, ball jointed doll, first in series. Each doll is numbered with the original hallmarks, only 50 produced worldwide. Betty Boop is a 21 inch ball, doin ball jointed doll figure fashioned in the highest quality cold cast porcelain, articulated with over eight joints for posability, meticulously hand-painted and modeled to detail, elaborately attired with the finest quality textiles and bejeweled accessories. Accompanied with an exclusive collector's limited edition enameled cloisonne pin and hand tag, crowned with a metal medallion set on its custom museum grade lucite based, a must have for the hardcore collector. I'd say I'm pretty hardcore. Ooh, girl, 
Look at her nestled in there. Look at her. Oh my gosh, she glows. She glows. This right here is her stole. It is a, it is a faux fur stole that's inset with satin. Let's check her out. Ooh, look at her, look at her hoop earrings. Those are beautiful. Hi, if you're out here, let me know. Share the video. Let me know if you if you know of Greg Ortiz and what you love about him, what you love about Betty Boop. Let's check out this doll though. Let's check out this doll though. Oh my gosh, I'm pulling her out of the love. I love how they're packaged. Hey girl. Here she is. Yes. Oh my goodness. Look at there's little plastic on her hands. She has these wonderful jeweled bracelets. Look at this dress. Look at this. Look at her. Look at her little heart-shaped rhinestone embellishment on her velvet garter belt. And look at these shoes. Look at those shoes. Look at the and they have holes in the bottom so that they'll stand on the stand. Look at that hair. Betty Boop, honey. She's slaying. You can see how big she is. Fancy schmancy. I'd for sure wear that dress. Look at that. So I'm going to show you two because Through the magic of television, here is here's mine, and she's all she's fluffy, fluffy. I mean, as in like we fluffed out her stole and her dress. <laughs> she's not fluffy any other way. She she is just gorgeous. Look at this. I love her stole. Look at that micro sequin dress. Just absolutely glamorous. So amazing. Get it in there so you can see that face. Yes. Isn't that neat? She's, she's big. That's 21 and a half inches tall. And what I love about a large doll is that they command such a presence in the room. They, you, you look at them. You, they, they scream for you to look at them. Oh, her, her garter belt fell down. I need to, I need to put it back up there. So that is, she is cute. I have twins. I have twin boobs. So that's, that's that. I just, I think she's just absolutely, absolutely marvelous in every single way. Good job, Greg. If you have one of Greg's Betty boobs, let me know. Okay, do you wanna see olive oil? I think it would be fun to unbox olive oil. Stanley, may I actually give you the Betty Boop? And I'm going to pull up olive oil. Oh, okay. here she is. Oh, thank you so much. There we go. That's that's her, that's the top of her box. You know, they have so many boxes. Are you a box person? I love boxes. So um, I have a Greg Ortiz Michelle doll, and she is gorgeous. Love big dolls. Greg Ortiz's Michelle doll is fabulous. I love that doll. Okay, now let's see, now let's see olive oil. Look at that. Classic olive oil. Look at her striking a pose. America's sweetheart. She is working it, girl. Get it, olive. Get it, olive. I mean, just, just getting this box together was such a, was such an undertaking literally no no ex no no expense was spared that's for sure but you know what opening a doll and having that that custom tissue paper having that special experience on there really adds to the experience i think it's really important to have as much of those custom branding things as as possible as much as you can afford to put on there and so i i do it but Greg is the best I've ever seen. I mean, 
like I said, the tissue paper is like wallpaper. So it really is. So let's check out Miss Olive Oil and see what she's bringing. What are you bringing, Miss Olive? Oh, let's, let's see what this looks like. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, look at her little feet poking out of the bottom of the box. Actually, the reason why they're poking out is not because they're little. She has really big feet, and girl, I understand. I wear a size 10, I have big feet too. So I wonder if I could honestly wear her shoes. She, she, those are pretty big feet, and then look at her little, look at her face. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what she's bringing today. Oh, here's her, okay. The ultimate olive oil ball jointed doll. Yeah, the ultimate. Only 50 produced worldwide. Olive oil is a 20 inch ball jointed, ball jointed doll figure. I mean, these are like the ultimate fashion dolls for collectors of this genre or just having something different and wonderful. Fashioned in the highest quality gold cast porcelain. I mean, he worked for years to, to get these and to, what happens is he would work and then the factory would send a sample and then he would give his, you know, and there's just so much back and forth it, with any artist that is producing. It is, it is a big, big deal. Okay, so we pull off the top and then here she is. This is what it looks like here in the box. But this hair, look at the hair. I mean, look at the little, the earrings, the orange, the, they're almost like a mustard yellow earrings. I love it. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to get, we're gonna have to get a little, do some investigation here. Okay, I'm gonna pull her out. Oh my gosh, what an experience. Oh my gosh, she's heavy. She is so heavy. Look at the, look at the, oh my goodness. The exaggerated, I can, when I move her arm, I can literally feel the articulation just moving. She's articulated in so many places. I wish I had, she's articulated at the waist, at the arms. There's so many joints on her. I really wish I had a nude version just so I could help explain the articulation. Look at this. This is neat. Okay, I'm gonna get in there so you can see her face, but the hair, that is everything. Greg, how long how, did it take you to figure out how to make her hair and what is underneath? They are made out of resin. They are, look at this. So they have stands and the stands have little, little knobs kind of in them that go up in the shoes and the stands, the Lucite stands, they are like this thick. They are really, really, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this off, but I am gonna put it back on just cause, look at that hair. Isn't that amazing? All the braids and everything. And look, there's a, there's a velvet bow right there. It's perfection. I've, ne I've never seen, I've never seen an, a better olive oil in my life. I mean, this is just, this really is the ultimate. And she can pose and do all kinds of things. Oh goodness. She has little pantaloons and look at her socks. Red and white striped socks. Oh look, the boots. You can unzip them. Look, they unzip all the way down so you could take her take her boots off. I'm not going to, but I mean, just all these little details are all such a big deal. She is so heavy. I almost want to have Stanley weigh her so you can grasp how heavy this doll is. Yeah. If you wanted to have, if you wanted to have an olive oil and you decided to get this one, it's, it's the ultimate. It's the ultimate. Same with, same with the Betty Boop. I mean, they're just absolutely phenomenal. Look at the sculpting. Greg. Thank you, Greg. Thank you for your art. He is, he is just such a, he is such a wonderful person that is just very 
giving and gentle and he has been through a lot just in his life and his business and and I remember when he shared that you know he's gone through a lot of the the things that we have gone through in life where it's it's when you're first starting out and when you're trying to create and you're trying to do all of these things sometimes in the beginning it's hard to believe in yourself and Greg is just he is so humble yet one of the most just ultimately talented and giving people I've ever met. So I am so excited that he's going to be presenting at the virtual doll convention at the end of March with a studio tour and update. And we're going to see some of the things he is working on and just some of the things that Greg Ortiz is, is doing. So olive oil and Betty Boop are going to happily live here. If you'd like to purchase one, they're on the virtual convention website and basically get really excited to see Mr. Greg again. He's been growing out his hair a little bit and he is, you know, we know he is so hot. So I am so excited. Are you, are you excited? I'm excited. So if you enjoyed this unboxing, please share the video. We're going to find a place of prominence for these two wonderful characters here in our shop. And I always look forward to seeing what Greg Ortiz is working on and what he has to share and what he is doing. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, let us know. There is a link to Greg, Greg's website if you have never heard of him and you want to learn more. Uh, he's definitely an artist you're going to want to follow. So I hope you enjoyed this and we'll be back soon with more content. Bye, everybody.